Okay, the first thing we've got to do is put the little filter back. Uh -huh. Then we put the cap, this cap on. Then we'll put this little valve piece on, which goes right. Put the black ring on the motor. What I did with the motor was I uh, I blew out the uh, the dust and then I just with a damp cloth I wiped it. Okay, once you have this black uh, cover put on, you just put the motor straight in. Like that. You just turn it until it fits right into here. Okay, now I'm going to wind the, um, the electrical. I did take a picture of this. And this one here just loops. Like that. Okay, this one here, the black one, goes on the right side. The right side. And the one coming off the motor goes on the left. And this white wire goes through here. Like that. This little piece fell off here. Push it back in there. Now we can put it together now. And if you haven't lined it up properly, it's not going to go on. It's not going to go together. And I don't think I've lined it up properly. It's not going on. Oh, maybe. That side just have to work this side a little bit. Yeah, that's pretty 
close. Now, once I put the screws in, it'll uh, tighten itself up. Okay, I've got the four screws in there. I'm just tightening a little bit. Then you're going to know if you have it lined up, if, if the pieces go together. I'm just snugging them up, the fourth one now. That looks good. Now I'm just going to tighten them up. And right now you can you can plug it in and check to make sure the switch is working right now before you put the whole thing back together. Again, let's see, have a look. The uh, hose and we'll just put it through here, which will loop underneath the uh, motor. It's just between them, just like that. Just like that. And this side, put the just enough space to put the belt on. There's a left and right cap. on the other side and put the four screws in. Next you put this uh, attachment piece on the hose and you slide it up into the keeper here. Okay, now we got the handle piece. It's got little slots in the back that fit right into here. And then we got the big screw that fits right back in here and holds it together. I'm going to put the belt on. Step down. Put the uh, roller on. That's from when your vacuum is sitting upright that the uh, brush bar isn't touching your carpet and burning your belt. Good brush bar. I've seen the brush bar melted here from the heat. You know, right here at the plastic edges. This one here is actually in really good shape. belt side first there it's in there now so I put the three screws here so I wouldn't get them mixed up these are the three long ones see the clips here just goes underneath
and just put the screws in. The lid back together. See this rubber seal goes around the edge. Looks like it's expanded a little bit. See it's gotten bigger. So I'm just going to cut it and I'm going to glue it together. I cut about that much off and then I just uh, glued the end right there. filter in. Now this machine says the full is here. I wouldn't let it get that full. I'd get it down to here. Plus the filter is so small in here I would get the dust off the filter every three times you use it. Any more than that and you have a chance that you're going to get uh, dust in the motor just like it was. Attachments can either use them. Can you put this together or use the handle? I just want to use the crevice tool and leave the handle right on the machine. <laughs> 